Hello everybody and welcome to David's Country Kitchen. Are you having trouble finding bread? Well today I'm going to teach you how to make some of the best bread you ever ate in your life. I guarantee it. I was told by one of my subscribers that people were having a hard time in finding bread out there due to the coronavirus. So I decided to do a video to show y'all how to make it at home with a few, a few ingredients and a little bit of elbow grease. I hope everybody out there stays well and hope you enjoy the video and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Okay, we're going to start out with a large mixing bowl and we're going to add three and a half cups of bread flour. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of salt. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar. Then we're going to add two packs of dried yeast or four and a half teaspoons. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of shortening or lard. I prefer lard. Now we're going to stir that up and then we're going to start adding our two and a quarter cups of water. Warm water that is, about 105 degrees. We're going to put that in just a little bit at a time. And make sure your water is not over 105 or you're going to kill your yeast. You're going to watch this video and say to yourself, why would a man go through so much trouble for two loaves of bread? When you eat this stuff, you'll know. Next, we're going to get out our mixer and we're going to mix it for one minute on low. Now, this right here ain't much of a mixer. But it does get the job done. Now after you get through mixing this up for one minute, next you're going to start pouring in the rest of your flour. And I usually mix it with a spoon at this point because I tried doing it with my mixer and man you talking about a mess. But when you start pouring in your remaining three and a half cups of flour, just pour it in a little bit at a time. Get it all mixed up real good. On my next video, I'm gonna try to make y'all some Mexican style rice, just like you get well better than you get in the restaurant. I just looked through the cupboard a while ago and I got everything to make it. Now you're not going to get this mixed up all the way in the bowl with the spoon. Now you might if you got one of them big fancy mixers, but I ain't got nothing like that. So what I do is I finish mixing it up as I'm kneading it. Now you're going to want to knead this for a good 10 minutes. Make sure it's mixed up real good. You want, to, you want your uh, dough to be smooth and real springy is springy a real word i think it might be this recipe ain't that hard to eat ain't a whole lot of ingredients but all this kneading uh that's about the toughest part of this recipe i started to trim this video and cut down on some of this time of kneading I just decided to speed it up so you could see basically the whole process of what's involved because you might not want to go through all this trouble. And once you got this all smooth and springy, you're going to get your big bow and coat it real good with some oil. I use olive oil. Then put your dough ball in the bowl and kind of roll it around so all the sides gets coated. And then you're going to put a damp cloth over the top and let it rise for one hour. Okay, after one hour you're going to dust down your countertop with some more flour. Then you're going to take your dough ball and push your fist down in it gently and deflate it. 
After that, we're going to roll it, roll it out on the countertop on that flour. And we're going to cut it in half. This next step, you can either use a rolling pin or use your hands. I'm using my hands. And you want to press it out in a rectangle shape about 18 inches by 9 inches. Don't have to be perfect. Now this next step, I've never watched anybody else do it, but this is what works out best for me. I'll roll it up, I'll start at the narrow end, and each turn, I kind of pinch it together down with my fingers and thumbs and keep it real tight. If you don't do this, I found out that your bread will separate as it's baking. But once you get that all rolled up, I kind of pinch the seam together and that's where the bottom's going to be. And I also do the th same thing on the ends and kind of roll them under. Repeat this with the other half. And then we're going to get two 9 by 5 metal bread pans and grease them with lard. And then we're going to coat the tops of them with butter, melted butter. Then we're going to let them rise again for one hour. After one hour, we're going to put them in a preheated 425 degree oven. In about 23 minutes, here's what they're going to look like. Man. I coat the tops of them with some melted butter. Let it cool down before you slice it. Now you can slice this all the way up and, and put it in a container and put it in a freezer. And then just cut, pull you out a couple pieces at a time and throw it in the microwave. And it's just like it was pretty much when it comes out of the oven. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. And try to make this bread. It's a lot of trouble, but you'll find out it's well, well worth it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to get updates on my latest videos or make suggestions, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.